number one. From the makers of Dome Keeper comes PVKK. You're a cannon pilot for an autocratic regime stationed in a defense bunker. Your mission is to manually control a massive planetary defense cannon to repel an interplanetary invasion. Interact with a retrotech cockpit, managing energy generators, scanning for enemy vessels, and executing precise firing procedures. Between missions, upgrade your bunker, making it both efficient and comfortable, face moral dilemmas that test your loyalty, and discover hidden secrets in your bunker through escape room style puzzles. Uncovering the truth behind the regime's deceptions. Do you guys think Gato's 3D games are starting to look a little bit better? I do. Number two. In Indo-Parasitic 2, you're a survivor with three limbs ripped off, infected by a deadly parasite, struggling to escape an infested arc ship. Navigate through eerie hallways, battling twisted eldritch creatures while crafting vaccines and ammunition to stay alive. The game demands precision as you manually control every action with your mouse, from reloading to moving. But move quickly because there's a parasite burrowing towards your brain. With manually loaded guns, intense boss fights, various mutated monsters, and a gripping storyline with rich characters, Indo-Parasitic 2 is bound to be a hit, especially when Markiplier plays it again. Number three. Omega Warp is a sci-fi action-adventure game set aboard the ISE Horizon Prime. Play as members of a repair team sent to investigate the freighter's year-long communication blackout with Earth. The game blends Metroidvania elements, encouraging exploration and skill upgrades within an interconnected world. Explore freighter decks, uncover its mysteries, and discover secret areas while upgrading your space armor and equipment. You can customize your journey with new functionalities, enhancing your armor for easier navigation and access to new areas. Collect and equip energy charges to increase your firepower against organic and synthetic foes with the data logs scattered throughout the ship to piece together the crew's history and secrets. You can check it out on Steam. Number four. In Dungeons of Blood and Dream, you play as a powerful blood wizard trapped in a death loop of psychedelic dungeons. With your powers crippled, you must rely on unpredictable sleep magic to escape the mind prison of a dangerous entity. Fight through perilous dungeons, slay hordes of grotesque creatures, and uncover the secrets of the universe that you're trapped in. This roguelike dungeon crawler features procedurally generated levels filled with enemies, traps, treasures, and secrets. Wield an array of unique bladed weapons and cast unnerving spells to defeat a horde of skeletons, zombies, slimes, and more. The game offers multiple endings, secret rooms, and intense boss fights ensuring no two playthroughs are ever the same. Embrace the repeating textures and jump into the dungeons of blood and dream. And congrats to last week's winner, The End of You. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game of the Awards at the end of the year. And a reminder, just because a game doesn't win their week, doesn't mean they can't appear in the awards. Number 5. Brutal Katana is a short, thrilling, first-person parkour action platformer where your goal is to swiftly slice statues in half. Built for quick, fun gameplay sessions, the game offers satisfying combat and fluid parkour mechanics. Mechanics that include wall running, wall climbing, vaulting, and sliding. Use your katana to slice through meat statues with precise, satisfying combat. Compete in global and friend leaderboards to achieve the fastest times, and customize your experience with a music playlist system, selecting the perfect tracks to accompany your gameplay.